Once again, good morning, children. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, I want to know again whether you are happy or not. If I ask the grade one, are you happy today? What's the response? Wow, you still remember it. Praise the Lord. But first, I want to ask the teachers. To our teachers, how are you today? Are you happy today? <laughs> you want to be teachers? <laughs> so to our teachers, I hope that we praise the Lord. So let's start at the back. Grade 6 students, are you happy today? What? Well, it's like that. Again, again, again. Grade 6 students, are you happy today? Wow. Grade 5, are you happy today? Grade 4, are you happy today? Wow. Grade 3, are you happy today? So nice. Grade 2, are you happy today? You have a lot of energy, huh? So praise the Lord that you are very much happy today. Because it's what our week of prayer and what is our theme god's saving grace yeah so nice yesterday i want you to go back to yesterday what is the topic yesterday anyone who knows it that girl could you shout it what's the topic can you say it Yes, God's grace guides us. And God's grace guide us would mean this Bible, God has given us the Bible to be our guidelines. To be our guidelines as we are in this world. So even in our church, what is the guidelines when you are in the wake of prayer? The teacher said, Quiet, right? And behave. Do you want Jesus Christ to be sad? No, right? So Jesus Christ wants you to behave whenever you are in the week of prayer. So let's start our topic this morning. This morning, we will talk about God's grace redeems us. Redeems. When you heard the word redeems, what comes in your mind? Save. Yeah. When you heard the word redeems, it's a new vocabulary for grade one. Redeems means save. Okay? It, it means save. So God's grace redeems us. For example, I have here, what is this one? Bag. Quite heavy, huh? <laughs> Whose bag is this? Whose bag is this? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You see? This is a bag. And who among you have your own bags? Oh, all of you have one. When I was in grade two here in AUP, I also have like this one. And so this bag is for boys, right? For boys. And how about this one? This for? Girls! Wow! Who owns this one? Princess! Thank you, Princess! Thank you for your bag. And so this time, this is color pink, right? So this is for girls. When I was grade 2, I had the same kind of bag. But then, you see there's a ladder right here, right? When there's a ladder, we used to do like that one, right? You do like that sometimes. So when you do like that, is that heavy? Yes, it's very heavy. But then, when we are in a straight path, we used to do this one. Right? So, does it heavy? Is it heavy? No anymore. It means our energy is safe or redeemed. So that's how you would define rhythms, okay? You don't feel any heaviness anymore. 
you don't feel any pain anymore because of this yeah because of the stroller and the wheels oh yeah on the floor so that's one way to understand the word within but there is another way I want to share my own story. Do you want to hear my story? Thank you so much. Okay, let's start my own story. When I was a little girl like you, yeah, girl, huh? <laughs> when I was a little girl, I used to uh, look at a lot of things. I mean, if, there is, if it is my mom's bag, I used to open my mom's bag. And then would look at everything, what is in it. Uh, Princess, can I look your bag? Okay, thank you so much. So when, whatever I see, I would open it. And when I open it, I want to check what's inside. Oh, there's paper. <laughs> there's also notebook and ruler. Wow, I see a lot of things. And I enjoy seeing those things. And so one day... Because of my character like that, maybe you also do like that one in your mother's bag, you know? You open their mother's bag, you see makeup, you see mirrors there, you see notebooks. And so one day, I myself want to see our cabinet. So in our room, my mother's room, there is a cabinet like this one. There's drawers in here, maybe three drawers. And then, on top of the cabinet is a television. Do you have that one in your homes? Yes, yes right? So this is the cabinet. Here are three drawers of the cabinet and a television. Quite medium television. Not so large, but medium television. And so one day, from outside the house, I run. I run to our room and try to check the drawer. I want to look what is inside of that drawer. So what I did, ooh, at my best, I pulled out. I want to open it. I want to pull it out. But then, it does not open it. It doesn't open it. What to do? I'm putting all my energy. I try it again, pull it out again, but it's not opening. So I tried it again and again, but then it's not really opening. And then, after a few minutes, I saw my mom from there. My mom is in a haze and running towards me. And I became so curious. My mom is running towards me. Is, he, is she getting angry with me? Who oh, is like that one? And then finally, my world turned upside down. I seem like so stars. You know, I become dizzy. Why is like that one? Because after a few minutes, the television is falling down. Wow. And my mom just right on time cut the television. Oh, she had it now. And me, I'm under it. I'm under it. And my mom is there doing like that one. Oh, you see my heart, it's doing like that one. It's throbbing, you know. And then, when I saw my mom holding the television, my mom is now on the floor. It's too heavy. For a woman, for your mother, the television is too heavy. And then I saw my mom's feet. Yeah. <laughs> my mom's feet, the thumb or the bigger one, the bigger toe, it's bleeding. <gasps> Oh, I was shocked. As a little girl, that's my first time to see my mom bleeding, you know? And so I was so shocked seeing the bigger toe of my mom bleeding. I remember when she was running, there is the electric fan. For example, there is the electric fan. And while she was running, her toe was done like that one it was ripped off by the plate of the electric fan and so when i was there on the floor 
seeing my mom bleeding, I cry. Oh. Do you hurt? Do you cry also when your mom is hurt? Oh, yes, right? So when that my mom is bleeding, I really don't know what to do. I want to help my mom, but then I can't help it. I'm just a little girl, you know. When we are little girls, we can't help our mom sometimes, right? Especially when it's bleeding. So, little children, what I want you to learn is that your mother loves you, right? Grade 6, do you realize that your mother loves you? Yes. How about grade 5, do you realize that your mothers love you? Grade 5? How about grade 4, do you realize that your mothers love you? Grade 3, do you know that your mothers love you? Yeah. Grade 2, do you realize your mothers love you? Yeah. So much. And grade 1, do you realize your mothers love you? Yeah. Yes. And so my mother loves me too so much that even though I'm so naughty, even though I want to open the drawers without any reason at all, even though I'm so kulet, even though I'm so makalikot, you know, my mothers love me so much. And He saved me. Instead of I being, you know, being pit-pit by that TV, I was not pit-pit by the TV because my mother saved me. Because my mother cut the TV on his hand. And although my mother is bleeding, you know what? My mother did not get angry with me. She didn't say, Ikaw kasi, you see my, my toes are bleeding. No, my mother don't say that. Because my mother loved me so much. And so my young people, little children, I want you to know that Jesus Christ loves you too. That Jesus Christ loves you too. Jesus Christ, by His grace, redeems us, all of us. Have you remembered seeing a cross? Yes, right? And have you remembered seeing the cross with Jesus Christ on it? Have you remembered that one? Have you seen such a picture with cross and Jesus Christ on it? That's how Jesus Christ redeems you. That's how Jesus Christ saves you. When you see Jesus Christ on the cross, He's bleeding, right? Yes. But He doesn't say, it's because of you I am bleeding. No. Because Jesus Christ loves you so much, He didn't do like that one to you. He just wants you to realize that He loves you so much. So I want you to sing along with me. You know, Oh, friend, do you love Jesus? You know that one? Okay, let's start. Grade one, do you love Jesus? Yes, I love Jesus. Oh, okay, okay. Let's start with grade six. Since you know it, right? You know it, grade six? Okay, let's start. Grade six, do you love Jesus? Are you sure you love Jesus? Then why do you love Jesus? Because He first loves me. Great five, great five, do you love Jesus? Are you sure you love Jesus? Then why do you love Jesus? Because he first loves me. Great four, great four, do you love Jesus? Are you sure you love Jesus? Then why do you love Jesus? Because he first loves me. Great three. Are you sure you love Jesus? 
Then why do you love Jesus? Because he first loves me. Great two. Great two, do you love Jesus? Oh, yes, I love Jesus. Are you sure you love Jesus? I love Jesus. Then why do you love Jesus? Because he first loves me. Great one, teachers, join them. Great one, do you love Jesus? Oh, yes, I love Jesus. Are you sure you love Jesus? Then why do you love Jesus? Because He first loves us. Thank you so much. I want you to remember and realize that Jesus Christ loves you so much. And Jesus Christ wants us to love Him too. So I have a simple question. Any volunteer who wants to answer my question? I want it to come from grade 6 and grade 1. <laughs> Tomorrow you have a chance. Grade 6? Yeah. Stand up. One, one from you. Okay. The first one to stand up, come in front. That guy, that guy. Yeah. Come in front. And grade 1, girl. Can I have a girl for grade 1? Yeah, you could come in front. Yeah, thank you so much. Tomorrow would be great three or in the rest. Okay? I want to ask you something. Listen, listen. Okay. Is it working? Okay. Um, friend, friend, is it working? No, no, no. My question is, how could you show Jesus that you love Him? I show Jesus I love Him. How could you show Jesus you love Him? I show Jesus I love Him and I praise Him so much. Wow, by praising Him, right? By saying what? By saying what? By praise, saying... Praise the Lord. By saying praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. So I want to share with you I don't have it here. <laughs> Wait for me. So prepare, Kuya, ha? Prepare answer. The same answer or the same question. And I want you to give this handkerchief. Why? Because whenever you're sad, remember that Jesus Christ is wiping your tears. So the next, or the same question. How do you show Jesus that you love him? Did you share? You see this microphone is broken. <laughs> I sing praises for him. Wow, so you're a singer, right? This is for you, Kuya. Thank you so much. And so my dear young children, reserve your answers, okay? Reserve your answers. For how do you share or how do you show Jesus that you love him? So for this morning, that's all. And I hope you have learned a lot. Again, can we say praise the Lord?